In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of using the Arduino programming environment. Uh, this is called the Arduino IDE. Uh, that stands for Integrated Development Environment. Uh, that's a programmer's term. It's basically a piece of software that you use to write other software. Um, the, the basic parts uh, are simple. There's the, the code window where you actually write and edit your code. Um, there's your toolbar, and then, of course, there's your menus. Um, I'll show you basically how you go about doing things. You go into the code window, you type out all your code. I've done that already, so you don't have to watch me type. Um, the next step you do is you hit this verify button that looks like a, a play button, a play arrow. You hit that, and that does what us programmers call compiles the code. So it takes this text and it turns it into executable code that uh, the Arduino can run. Um, the next step would be to hit this upload button and actually send it to the Arduino. Uh, and I'll do that right now. And you can see it says uploading to the I.O. board and you'll see some lights in the Arduino blinking and when it's done it'll say done uploading. So we saw that happen just while I was talking and, and that's usually the way it goes. However, before you get to that point you are going to have to set it up. Um, Depending on your operating system, this can be easy or difficult. Um, I'm running Linux. You guys might be running Windows or OS X if you're on a Mac. Uh, I really don't know, but you're probably not going to be running Linux. So I'll, I'll at least show you how it works in concept, and then you guys can figure out the details or look them up online if you have any problems. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Board, and you're going to want to select the Arduino you have. Now, uh, I'm using a Arduino Duema Nova, I can't even really say that word, it's Italian, so, uh, with the AT Mega 328 processor in it. Uh, that's not what you guys have. Do not use the one I have selected. You guys want to select the Arduino Uno, right there. Um, and then you're going to want to select the serial port. Uh, on, this is what's going to be different based on your operating system. On mine, it's going to say dev TTY USB 0. Yours might say COM 13 or, or COM some other number. Uh, or it might look similar to this if you're on a Mac, but not quite the same. Um, it's just really going to depend on your operating system. But if you're lucky, it'll just show up in the list, and all you have to do is select it. Uh, once you have that done, then uploading should be fine. I'm going to switch back to the board I actually have. Um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot to this. There's your, your basic uh, new, open, save buttons here. Uh, and there's also stop to stop your, your program from compiling if you ever needed to do that. Um, the other things I'd like to show you in here is that this comes with a whole set of built-in programs for you, or uh, sketches as they're called for the Arduino. All you have to do is go into examples, and you'll see some really interesting stuff, such as um, uh, I think Blink might be the one that everyone starts off with. Yeah, here we are. Uh, where all it does is it takes pin 13, sets it to output, uh, and writes high and low to it uh, with a delay in there. So what this will do is it'll make a blinking light, and uh, pin 13 is special on the Arduino because there's already an LED wired up to it on the board. So if you were to run this one on your board, you actually get to see it blinking without having to plug any wires into it. Um, it's not very exciting, but uh, at least you can do it without having to, to worry about hooking together jumper wires and components. Um, anytime you'd like to just go through and and explore some of these things. You'll you'll find all sorts of fun things from doing, you know, making a light on the Arduino blink here there to uh, using the Arduino to program other uh, microcontrollers, um, connecting it up to the internet. You can actually connect your Arduino up to the internet if you have the right components. Um, you can control stepper motors, things that, you know, uh, that are the the machines behind uh, 3D printers and other sorts of fun things. Uh, servos, you might want to take a look at the servo libraries because I, e I gave you each two servos to play with. Um, and some of these might be all ready to use. But these are different programs and you can upload them all to your Arduino and figure out how to hook up the electronics to them. Um, most of these sketches come with uh, uh, websites attach them or something that'll help you put it together so you won't just be completely in the dark. Uh, if you're ever wondering how to do something you can always look at these things for reference and figure it out figure out how to write the code that does what you want. That's what I do, that's what everyone does. Um, I would really recommend that. Um, 
that's about it for this programming environment. The only other thing that I, I'd like to point out is this serial monitor. Um, one of the things that your Arduino can do pretty easily is called serial communication. And what that is, is that it's um, sending data back and forth between the Arduino and the computer you have plugged into if you have it plugged into uh, a USB port. So the serial monitor lets you look at what that data is. So here you can see, here's all the stuff that the Arduino is sending me. And if I want to send something, I can just type it here and send it. And uh, it turns out our program doesn't know what to do with that data I sent it, so it just ignores it. But um, this is a, a pretty easy to use box here, too. The only thing you have to worry about is uh, basically what baud rate you're running at. And uh, you might be able to ask your parents what baud rate is. It's uh, something that they might have not, they had probably had to deal with back in the day of uh, dial-up modems, but you'll never have to deal with other than when playing with your Arduino or any other serial communication. So I um, hope I didn't get too technical there for you, but uh, that's the, uh, the Arduino programming environment. That's the basics of how to use it, and uh, I hope that's enough for you to guys to dive in and start doing some stuff. I'll probably be making some more videos or helping you out in some other way but with, with uh, the actual coding of it, which can be a little confusing. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'm more than willing to help.